everyone this is Basima Bartapi if you're new to my channel then hi I'm Basima I mostly make travel vlogs and this is my Thailand vlog part 2 in this vlog I'm going to be actually showing you other than partying what you can do in Bangkok so it includes must visit places the places that are very famous like the Grand Palace the temple of the reclining Buddha or also known as the Wat Po and their opening hours, the ticket prices and also you get to see a big mall, their glimpse, what to buy there and another as a bonus thing I'm going to be taking you to a river cruise of fun river parties so let's get started so as you can see we're in the car and we are actually heading towards Bangkok from Pattaya and we already spent two days in Pattaya if you haven't seen my previous vlog so uh, you can check that out if you want to we stayed two days in Pattaya we did some fun activities we visited the coral island we did partying and yeah a lot of fun so please do check that out as well anyways we started from Pattaya very early morning because we planned the whole trip in such a way that every uh, moment or every time that we have we can utilize that properly so that's why we started like at 7 7 30 we said um, we asked our driver to be there right on time and he actually was there right on time and from there we started and heading towards the uh, you know Bangkok city and we are going to get to the hotel our plan is to visit the Grand Palace, the Wat Po Temple, if possible, our plan was also the Wat Arun and then visit the markets, different markets and also we have a river cruise plan like for tonight. That's why we don't want to miss anything. We just going to go to the hotel and the check-in time is after 12 so we are not going to wait there. We are just going to keep our luggages probably in the reception. We are going to request them to keep it and get out and explore the city so bear with us. while we take you to our first destination that is the grand palace let me share a little unfortunate story with you so that you can also have an idea while you are traveling to Bangkok. so tuk tuk was first of all not convenient for us though we saw on couple of different vlogs that oh they're convenient they are cheap so and so no actually I think the normal taxis were more uh, reasonable and they were you don't have to bargain that much that is another thing and the second thing is that once we got into our taxi we told that we were, we want to go to the Grand Palace and the driver from the very beginning I uh, I don't know his behavior was not normal he was like it seemed like he wanted something more so he was like oh ma'am you are wearing a dress they won't let you go there but I'm gonna take you to another way where they can show you the grand palace and with this dress they won't let you enter and I was like it's fine let me just go there let me see what situation happens because I know this kind of uh, because every everywhere there are some there are some uh, other other uh, ways right to handle it so he took us without our permission to another way it was probably a dock uh, I mean a river way to see uh, you can see by the boat the grand palace and the other temples so we were like why are uh, why did you bring us here the Google map it's showing that the grand palace is the other way around and he was like no 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 they won't let you enter we were like listen mister please uh, take us there it's not fair and we are we are not happy with whatever is happening so he understood the situation was not in his favor so he was like okay okay let me take you to the, another way so we went to the grand palace and right opposite the grand palace there was actually a shop where you can buy you know if you're wearing shorts you can buy long skirts uh, if you're wearing sleeveless you can just cover you can get something you can buy something you can borrow e even like uh, for a certain amount of time so yeah just don't fall into those traps because uh, if you're willing to see the grand palace through like uh, in the waterway like throughout the boat that's fine but if someone is telling you that they won't let you enter that's actually not true so yeah i think um, this story will be helpful if you are there somehow so let's go and see the grand palace
a little bit about the Grand Palace. So the Grand Palace is a complex of buildings at the heart of Bangkok, Thailand of course. And the palace has been the official residence of the King Siam and later Thailand like uh, since 1782. The king, his court and the royal government were based on the grounds of the palace until 1925. The Grand Palace is open daily from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. and it's uh, the entry fee is 500 baht for the foreigners, Thai baths and inclusive of the access of the uh, Emerald Buddha Temple also known as the Wat Phra Kyo. I'm sorry, <laughs> I apologize if I'm butchering the pronunciation. So yeah, these are located within the Grand Palace compound and every visitor like uh, what I feel is that they should visit the magnificent uh, Grand Palace there the buildings the work the architecture it you will you will get a like a very idea like how it was the Thai architecture how it was uh, previously and uh, since the founding of uh, Bangkok as the nation capital by King Rama the first the Grand Palace has been the major architectural symbol of the Thai royal family so yeah definitely worth visiting a little piece of information about the weather in Thailand so we visited there at the end of November like November 25 to 29 so anyways it was actually winter in my own country or that region it was winter but in Thailand you cannot see any sign or any vibe of the winter I mean it was really hot in there though in the during the nights it was fine the weather was like normal but during the day the heat of this Sun it, it was tremendous so as you can see everybody is carrying umbrella and for us sunglasses SPF and umbrella this three things were absolute absolute necessary so yeah just uh, always keep an umbrella or wear a hat because uh, it's actually really hot and also a bottle of water if you can Now let us go to our next destination that is the Wat Po Temple. Now Wat Po Temple it's uh, directly at the south of the Grand Palace. So if you take an exit from the Grand Palace there is just one exit. Okay. So if you take an exit from the Grand Palace if you walk for 5 minutes or less than that uh, you will reach uh, it's uh, right beside there so what Po temple let me tell a bit, tell a little bit about this temple is one of the Bangkok's oldest temples it existed before even Bangkok was established as the capital by King Rama the first and uh, yeah it's uh, of course definitely worth visiting it has so many statues and again architectural work fountains and it also has shops inside so you can get water there is music and uh, yeah food as well and it opens daily at 8 a.m. to 6 30 p.m. and the fee is 200 Thai baht per person so yeah enjoy Besides the magnificent artwork and detailed, you know, like different architectural, Thai architectural style, the ancient style, another reason the temple is very famous is for a particular statue of Buddha and not just any statue, the reclining statue of Buddha. And if you Google it right away, it will 
pop in your screen that oh this this temple is visited by so many tourists throughout the year so many times just because of this uh, statue and let me tell you that if you are just uh, you know hesitant about uh, okay I have seen so many you know like temples in my life and is it worth visiting the whole complex the artwork the statues the overall vibe and how they maintained everything it's actually really nice and as you can see it's really clean it's not just clean it's um, super well maintained and once you enter the temple you will feel like you were you will feel that it was something like they have kept it they have uh, archived it at least tried to archive it as it is was before so yeah definitely one of the most well maintained complex and open air um, heritages that I have seen and definitely worth visiting As you can see this is one of the temples that we went inside and before going inside of course you have to keep your like uh, keep your shoes outside and go inside barefoot so once you enter this kind of place please keep in mind a few things one is that be like speak softly and um, as soon as you enter the room just uh, observe what everybody is doing and sit down and just uh, don't talk loudly I mean of course um, probably it might happen that you don't understand their culture or the ritual and that's absolutely fine but uh, you don't want to be disrespectful or do anything that is disrespectful towards the religion so yes this is one of the thing and also uh, once you like uh, stand up and you know you just uh, uh, try to leave the room just don't uh, just face towards buddha and walk at backwards because uh, sometimes it is considered disrespectful to put your like directly uh, walk away from buddha so yeah this is another thing that i learned throughout my traveling journey so anyways this is the moment that we have been all waiting for the huge the big the mesmerizing statue of the reclining buddha the very famous and by huge actually it is so big it looks like the temple was built around it because there is actually no way it could have been you know squeezed uh, through the doors and the statue itself is five meter tall 46 meters long solars that again it feels like it there is no way that uh, it could have you know somehow fit into the building the building was built around it it feels like that and the buddha feet again are five meters long and it has different artworks and decorated in um there are some different religious characters it is it is something else so yeah definitely worth visiting the reclining buddha and overall the Wotpo temple 
and now let us take you to the river cruise but before that let me share my second unfortunate story with you guys so we were supposed to leave for this river cruise at around i mean our our guide was supposed to pick us up there was a bus and we were in a group actually so it was not like like a couple trip it was something like we were in a group and they will pick us up together from our hotel so we were waiting in the lobby five minutes before their given time not five i think 10 minutes before their given time they said that okay you they will wait there from they will they will start from our hotel at 6 30 so we waited uh, we were in the lobby at 6 20 and interestingly they left us they left us uh, left the hotel at 6 15 1 5 and we were like okay I mean you gave us the time 6 30 now you left and you are saying that you were in front of another hotel they were saying when I called up the agent she was saying oh can you please come up in here because the bus already left and I'm like okay you guys gave us time 6 30 now you're saying you left us and to come in front of any what ambassador hotel or something and uh, it was a chaos it was unexpected it was unprofessional because we waited there right before time so there is no way they would have they should have left us anyways then after a lot of talking and finally we took a tuk tuk and went in front of the ambassador hotel and got on the bus and as you can see we were in the shopping mall the icon siam and everybody here is waiting for the cruise so they have this arrangement right uh, beside the river and uh, yeah it was uh, like uh, they have different different cruises waiting there so we were waiting for our turn as you can see they have numbers written and we were given our number particularly so uh, the cruise ships once you get into it they will start and the next will arrive so little by little like everybody will get in and it's a one and a half hour overall trip in the river it's a buffet dinner and you get to sing you get to dance and enjoy the time overall so yeah let's take you inside After a lavish and heavy buffet dinner, we were enjoying the, the scenario that we were seeing. Our boat was slowly sailing through the river. There were live music, mostly Bollywood songs. People were dancing, enjoying and it was overall a very party and nice vibe. As you can see, we both were dancing with others. And yeah overall it was a once in a lifetime experience if you have seen my china vlog i also had the opportunity to uh, attend a river cruise uh, in the pearl river that was actually different but this one this one is actually this is more like a party and dancing type cruise and that was more like a silent and calm and you know so both are though both are at night both are river cruise but the experiences are different so with that i am signing off today thank you so much for patiently watching my videos if you are new here i would like to request you to subscribe if you liked what you saw and if you overall want to support me please do not forget to share and i will be back with you very soon thank you so much love you bye